What's up guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna talk about the top five worst driving habits for karting drivers. Over the years, I've worked with many drivers and these five bad habits are something I've had to unteach so many of the drivers that I've worked with. After realizing this, I looked back on myself and my career and realized that I too had these bad habits and it was something that I had to unlearn as well. So I figured it's time to make a video on it. I'm sure there's so many other drivers that have to unlearn these same five bad habits to improve their racing career. So with that being said, let's get started with the video. The first bad habit we're gonna address is your hand position on the steering wheel. Hold your hands at the widest part of the steering wheel. There are so many drivers I see that like to hold their hands really low or really high. Holding your hands in these positions is a bad habit to get used to. You'll ask, why do you need to hold your hands at the widest part of the steering wheel? Because that's the easiest place to turn the steering wheel. Think about it, if you have a smaller steering wheel, you're gonna have to turn the wheel more to get the same amount of input that you would from a bigger steering wheel. The reason this benefits your driving is because it allows you to correct the go-kart easier. If the cart gets upset in the center of the corner, it's much easier for you to correct that by holding it in the widest part of the steering wheel. You can put in the least amount of input to stop the problem, which will minimize mistakes. If you look at the greatest drivers over the years, they all hold the steering wheel at the widest part of the steering wheel. Now there's always exceptions to every rule, but for the most case, the best drivers over the years all hold the steering wheel at the widest part. It's a key to success. It might not be comfortable at first when you do it, but over time, when you get more comfortable holding your hands in this position, you'll realize that it's a lot easier to drive and it helps you minimize mistakes while driving. This also leads into the second bad habit that I'm gonna address. My second bad habit for driving is pulling on the steering wheel instead of pushing on it. Many drivers get caught up pulling the inside of the steering wheel instead of pushing from the outside of the steering wheel through the corner. A lot of you guys probably haven't heard this, but when you tug on the steering wheel, it makes it a lot harder to control the amount of input you're putting into the steering wheel. A good way to realize this is to drive around the track one-handed. Every time you go through a corner when your hand is on the inside, it's gonna be a lot harder to consistently hit the same marks than it would be from your outside hand. It's a lot easier to pull on the steering wheel and it's a lot easier to drive like that. But when you push on the steering wheel from the outside, you actually have more control of the go-kart. Your input won't be as serious or dramatic when you enter the corner. You wanna have your outside hand there to guide the cart through the corner and then your inside hand is just there to help out. Basically, you want your outside hand to do 75% of the work or your inside hand does 25% of the work. After you get strong enough to do this over and over again, you'll realize that you have much more control of the go-kart and be able to hold the cart in the position that you want it to be. You'll also be much more consistent because your outside hand isn't gonna be applying the same force that your inside hand would. You'll be much more consistent of a driver if you can work on this technique. The number three bad habit for drivers is body position. There are so many drivers that like to throw their body around in the go-kart. Again, there are a few exceptions to this rule that are really good at using their body to help them. But the majority of drivers are not good at this and cannot do it. There are so many times where I see drivers who are young and small throwing their body around in the go-kart and not really understanding what's going on. Yes, throwing your weight to the outside of the cart can add grip, but done improperly, it's just gonna upset the balance of the go-kart. You gotta think about this. If you're going through a left-handed corner and you throw all of your weight to the right side of the cart, it's just gonna upset the go-kart. It's not gonna be able to transfer all that momentum going to the outside of the cart to go the other direction that the go-kart wants to go. So your best bet is to just stay in the middle of the cart. Again, when you look at the majority of successful drivers, not many of them lean that much in the cart. They don't really lean to the inside, they don't lean to the outside. They keep their cart centered, that keeps their center of gravity in the middle of the cart, and it keeps it from upsetting the go-kart in the center of the corner. Unless you're driving in the rain or other random scenarios, keep your body weight in the center of the cart. It's what's best for the go-kart. If you're throwing your body weight around, majority of the time you're just upsetting the cart. Focus on hitting your marks and focus on doing what's right. Break this bad habit and just sit straight up in the go-kart. You're not helping the cart out at all by throwing your body outside of it. Again, there are very few exceptions to people that this works for them. But for the majority of people, it's best that you just sit straight up in the go-kart. The number four bad habit, and this is one that's more irritating for me to work on with most drivers, is getting on the throttle too early. When you get on the gas, the go-kart wants to go straight. That's the rule. So picture it. If you get on the gas and you're not pointed in the direction that you want to go, one of two things is going to happen. You're either going to run out of track on the exit of the corner or the go-kart's going to break free because it physically can't handle that much load through the center of the corner. So really focus 
on trying to let the go-kart breathe a little bit and get on the gas when the cart is pointed in the direction that you want to go. It's less work for you to do and your cart and your tires are gonna thank you so much for this. Not only does it help your speed, but it's gonna help your engine performance as well. When you stay on the gas that much the center of the corner, it's just leaning down your engine. Your engine needs time to breathe. It needs time to cool off in the center of the corner so that when you get back to the gas, it has fuel to burn on the exit of the corner. So focus on getting on the gas when the cart is pointed in the direction you want it to go. So the number five bad habit for karting, and this is probably one of the most frustrating habits of all of them, is not listening to your go-kart. This sounds so simple, but so many drivers mess this up. They do not listen to what the cart is telling them. For example, the track conditions will change. You'll go from qualifying, which was in the morning when the cart was really good, the track had a lot of grip, to the afternoon where it's hotter and the track's a little greasier. The cart will start sliding, and the driver will just get on the gas at the same spot, brake at the same spot, and just wonder why they've gone slower. So many times I've asked drivers that I've worked with, why didn't you brake sooner? Why didn't you get on the gas later? And they have no idea. If you get on the gas and the go-kart slides, it means you need to get on the gas later. If you go into the corner and you slide past the apex, it means you need to brake earlier. There's so many times where the track condition change, and I see drivers that continue to drive the same way and don't listen to their go-kart. Listen to your cart. It's a bad habit to get in to where you just go out every single time and do the same exact thing and expect something different. The track is always evolving and it's always changing. So listen to your cart. If the tires are squealing, slow down a little bit, help them out. If you go into the corner and you feel like you can carry more speed, carry more speed. There's so many times where I hear drivers tell me that, oh, they have more in it. They could have gone faster. They didn't use the tires. Use them. Listen to the cart. If there's more grip out there, Go for it, find that grip. If there's not enough grip, slow it down. Listen to your go-kart. If you can fix this habit, you can pick up so much consistency and time over the weekend, it's crazy. So there you have it. Those are my top five bad driving habits for karting. If you can work on your hand position, pushing on the steering wheel instead of pulling on it, keeping your body in the center of the go-kart, getting on the gas at the right spot of the corner, and then listening to your go-kart, you'll pick up so much time throughout the weekend. This time won't come in just lap times. It's just gonna come in consistency over a session. You're gonna be saving your tires a little bit. You're gonna be making less mistakes. This is gonna improve your race weekend as a whole. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these tips. Comment down below if there's a bad habit that you guys can remember that I missed out on this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out knowing that you guys are watching these videos. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram and on Facebook. That's where you get any updates on my karting career. Once again, thank you guys so much for supporting this channel and I'll catch you guys at the next one. <laughs>